uh, FDBGD Duck Mama. Okay, Mama Duck. You know, um, I felt bad for Mama Duck when, you know, she crashed her Range Rover, whatever piece of can car that she had. Okay, at least it didn't look like a trash can like them new Elon Musk vans. But it was a big body Benz, okay? She crashed it. I felt sorry for her. She said that was the last thing Duck had for her. Got, Duck was under nigga contracts and Mama Duck ain't got shit, ain't got a pot to piss in. I heard her begging for money on YouTube to go buy a bag of grits to cook some grits and eggs. Child, this bitch is broke and now she trying to sue hip hop for what it is. Well, sued seeking to hold a rapper from Chicago accountable in the killing of another artist in 2020. The complaint also accuses the city of Chicago of willful misconduct. Tia Ewing read through the court filing and joins us now to break it all down for us. Well, Tia? There is a lot to break down, Sylvia and Terrence, because this lawsuit is 229 pages. FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was killed August. Of Wait, the lawsuit, how, how many pages? Oh, hell no. She might well file this shit herself. Whoever the attorney is, bitch, you sound like a vexation litigant. That's what I do. Kaya Thorpe, Mrs., if you file a copyright lawsuit against me, bitch, you gonna get a book to read. I'm talking about the same size as a Harry Potter book. And 29 pages. FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was killed August of 2020. Outside Let me see how many pages. The lawsuit is 200 and <laughs> to break down Sylvia and Terrence because this lawsuit is 200 and 29 pages. Damn, That's she wrote that shit herself. 229 pages. And if you go through that lawsuit, that FBG Duck woman and file and start spell check. It. It's going to shave off 100 pages. Okay, you know that's an element of P.A.S., bitch. FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was killed August of 2020 outside Dolce & Gabbana on the Gold Coast. His mother is now suing rapper Lil Durk, the state of Lil <laughs> rapper King Von, record labels, and several other music companies. The word profit is used 102 times in the suit, claiming the No, sweetheart, she didn't say 29 pages. She said 290 pages, okay? companies threw money behind rapper Lil Durk and King Von because it made them even... And how you gonna be from Chicago and these people have your back? They done seen the niggas that sprayed at you and they crying over your body. If they was really from old block and about that life, bitch, I'd have been I'd have been in the full flat on the road looking for that car, bitch. I'm shooting up in there. You done killed my brother? You done killed... Uh-uh, bitch, I'm shooting up in there. That's what they did. What, what, what Were you logic or smart? Because if you was logic or smart, you wouldn't be hanging around no hood niggas. If you was logic or smart, you would have told this nigga don't go out there without no security. If he had any money, he would have hired a security team or somebody to protect him against this. He wouldn't have been out there. If he was so smart, he would have had a bulletproof vest on like 50 Cent. Now you didn't got shot like 50 Cent, but you didn't survive live to tell the story. And you had a nigga read contract. And they say the man who got your contracts and was over your contract did that shit to you to make sure that he made all the money in FBGD, your dog mama. They say she busting it open on OnlyFans. Oh, no. Her only subscriber was Charleston White. I'm going to see if the cash app card he got connected to the account still go through because this motherfucking day is locked up. Money by keeping the two gang feuds going. FBG Duck was an alleged member of the Flyboy Gang, and Lil Durk and King Von were allegedly part of the gang known as the Only the Family. The two groups would put out diss tracks, increasing their popularity. It's also believed members were signed to music deals based on how they ranked mm -mm. in the gang. On page two of the lawsuit, it shows this image from an <laughs> album released back in 2019 by Only the Family, along with Alamo Records, Sony Music, and Interscope Records. Lawyers from Dinazulu Law Group says the chart reinforces the organized nature of the gang. We mm. have laid out in our complaint time and time again numerous individuals um, associated and signed to these labels that were engaged in dangerous, violent activity, which led to August 4th, 2020. Yeah, it's been a long road, but there's finally light at the end of the tunnel. My son deserves better. So does his children. The lawsuit also accuses the city of Chicago of willful misconduct, <laughs> claiming that police and emergency services failed to promptly aid FBG Duck because he was alive in the street for more than 17 minutes without any medical help. The store Weekly was shopping at Dolce & Gabbana and its security firms are also being sued for negligence. I did reach out to Lil Dirk's legal team right now. They are not commenting 
on this civil lawsuit. You know, this this lawsuit right here is an L for the black community. It really is. I'm gonna tell you why. Because number one, you talking about suing Lil Dirk and King Von Estates and all these people for profiting off of uh uh, uh FBG duck debt unalignment. Let me tell you something. They've been doing that since Tupac and Big. You going against the whole industry. So even if people say you're right, them judges got to think about the people. The people. Black people are not the people. Remember, we didn't get no rights until the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment. We the people. Protect the people in the Constitution. Them corporations, all the white people, the white executives who solely invested in rap beef and making money out of hip-hop. Girl, if you don't sit down somewhere, that's just the way that shit crumble and the way it happens, okay? Let me see if I could create a little Dirk uh, FBG Duck song or play FBG Duck in a TV show if you're going to come out there. Girl, sit on down. We the people say we don't give a fuck about you. Okay? They're going to protect them record labels and shit like that. And you just doing that stuff so that you can go to the casino with your big and ass. All you do is big, big and more big. No matter how many times they delete her YouTube account, she start back one up. What's her new YouTube account? Let me know in the chat so I can go over there and gag her ass. Moving on. Um, Tyler Perry, the FBG duck mama that's in a dress, a.k.a. Medea Tyler Perry. 